This week, we're going up to Cottonwood, Arizona to the Verde River Day, an annual event that focuses on conservation and celebration of the Verde River. This river is one of the largest remaining perennial rivers left in Arizona, and it contains the state's longest stretch of continuous areas of riparian habitat. Its total length is about 190 miles, and it flows from Sullivan Lake in northern Arizona down to Fountain Hills in central Arizona. As with all waterways in Arizona, the Verde River has its own challenges with being able to maintain its ecosystem due to human activity. Events like this are meant to help foster community involvement with making sure that this jewel doesn't disappear forever like so many of Arizona's other perennial streams. We wanted to come up here today for a few reasons. First of all, to see what kinds of conservation efforts were going on along the Verde River. Second, to fish for catfish at the lagoons, since Arizona Fish and Game has finally restocked the ponds for the first time. And finally, to try canoeing for the first time to see if it's something I would actually enjoy doing. So we decided before we had even arrived that the first thing we wanted to do is go pick up our fishing poles from Arizona Fish and Game. We didn't want to miss our early morning opportunity to try and fish while there were still clouds in the sky. Something to note about this park is you can see some permaculture in action. You can tell that there are berms throughout here to help soak in the water and keep it where the trees are so that way there's less erosion and free water for the trees. So we have our rods. And now we're going to go ask the game warden if we can throw our crawdad trap in here or not or if we're going to be forced to be crawdadless today. Turns out we would be crawdadless. So far the story seems to be that the catfish were delivered on Thursday. They did some electric fishing on Friday to check numbers and according to the warden only found one crawdad. So we could throw our trap into the lagoon but the odds of us catching anything are pretty slim so we probably won't bother. That's alright. So then we made our way around the lagoon and we found a spot that hadn't been claimed yet and set up shop. We're gonna go try and fish for catfish and see if we do any better than the last time we tried fishing. They're handing out free gear today and it, uh, it's a little spin cast, but let's try our luck. The setting here is so much nicer than in town too. Oh yeah. You can just look at it guys. There's so much more. You can't really see it for the reflection, but there's just so much more for the fish to hide in here too that you could probably get more even from the bank as compared to the in-city stuff, but nothing else. At least the scenery is great. Britt's got a little leader. And you're trying sausage first, right? Yep, sausage first. So hold the button. Yes, usually you, you release the button halfway across chunk. That work? Seems to. So they have graciously pre-strung everything up so you come with a hook and a leader and a weight. Well a swivel and a weight I suppose is a more accurate term. We're gonna try sausage and see how it goes. Probably been here what half hour now? Maybe an hour and so far all we've caught is greenery. The uh, greenery on the bottom is really great for the fish, but man, that's like all you catch out here so far with uh, with your fishing poles, so. When does fishing get fun? Tell me, internet. When does the fishing become fun and not just boring frustration? My phone's like, I can't focus on that. You want me to do things like a camera? I'm Decided to try our luck at the other lagoon. And so far the best thing we've caught is two weights and a try hook. But still no fish. So far, ain't much doing. Huh? Brick caught a bluegill, a big one, and that's about it. Between kayakers getting in the way and everything.
everything else going on on the lake. I don't think we're going to be very lucky today. Britt knows I don't like canoeing. I never wanted to canoe, I never wanted to kayak. For it's like you can only get to cool places with a canoe or a kayak. And this one's free at least, so... Please don't have to put me money to decide if I don't like it, but... I fear boats, you guys. Especially small ones. So it was right about here when I realized two things. That there would be absolutely no instruction about anything regarding canoes or life vests. And second, that everybody had concerns about me taking my cell phone and camera out onto the lake in this canoe. So to make everybody feel better, I put my tripod away under a table and shoved my phone into my shirt. Turns out that it's really hard to get your cell phone out from under a life vest when it's tucked in a shirt pocket. But this is what little bit I managed to get for you. So Britt got me out here. And I hate it. I hate every second of this. And I cannot wait until I'm not here anymore. Because I hate this. How do people find this enjoyable? I feel so nauseous from just the clenching of like the movement of the boat. I don't like this. I also don't like that they didn't tell us anything about how to navigate properly either. Yeah, they just kind of flung everyone in a boat and like, here you go, bye. I guess it's safe to say that canoeing is just not my thing. With our feet back on solid ground, we wanted to take one final look through the pavilion to see what sorts of conservation groups had shown up. Plenty of groups from all along the Verde River Valley showed up to talk about their different conservation efforts and how people could get involved. One of our favorite displays wasn't even about conservation as much as education of Arizona's wildlife. Being able to see local reptiles that you usually can't due to safety reasons get very close to was really great and it's the first time that we got to touch a Gila monster. Hi buddy. This is called a banded Gila monster. It has Hi. black bands going across it. There's two species. One is called reticulated. It has black spots on the salmon background and then one that has bands across it. <laughs> it's a banded. And she's, a, she's only a Gila monster in, the, in captivity. It only has four toes because she bit one and it was dead. We had to amputate it. Oops. And then the other one died, so she only has four toes on the front of her. Oh, this is a four-toed halo, see? see? Yeah. This one, there's three. She oh, this that one over one. here is missing one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's Sheila the Gila. She has all of her poison. And her head's just like that. Yep. You see the curved teeth? Mm -hmm. And if she has to bite on you and chew on you, Overall, there was plenty of opportunity to learn more and get involved, and we look forward to coming back next year. Hopefully next time we'll actually be able to catch some catfish.